Welcome back, everybody. I am the Jimmer. This is the Battle Maggot Smash. It's gonna be episode two. We're gonna have the CTRS Glen Faba by. Oh, I don't have it in written down. It is by Captain Cletor. Write that down so I do not forget. And that's gonna be taken on. The Oblivion by Flossy Lions. Standard setup here. Go ahead and kick this off. We'll do a quick review uh, since they're both new entries coming in. Alright, and let's look at the Glen Faba first. Just absolutely bristling with weapons. Nice, very nice touch here. Got, uh, I don't, I'm gonna just call it the wrong thing. Not a crest, maybe a seal, or a badge, or, I, uh, yeah, that thing. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the name tag, very nice. Very nice profile overall. This is, I gotta say, this match is so much smoother. I don't know, I think it's laser parts. For whatever reason, the, uh, the laser parts really lag out my machine. So this is the CTRS Glen Faba by Captain Peter, and uh, yeah, let's just take a quick peek over at uh, the Oblivion by Flossy Lions. We've got the uh, the Oblivion here looking very ominous, very nice design, sort of long tail out here. We'll we'll get into that and see what that's all about, and then the little fire ants here, little support vessels. All right, so let's uh, let's take a peek at the Glen Pombas. Look at its guns and armaments and armor. What dominates what dominates in my view is this giant gun here. It looks to be on a turret. Yeah, most definitely on a turret, and that is just a massive barrel. I believe that is an APS gun. Oh no, it's actually yeah, that is a cram. The, uh, the way the barrel was shaped made me think it was a yes, but uh, I was mistaken. This is a cram gun. And just massive barrel. I'm assuming that's going to be some shooting, some really serious shells. And then we have the APS gun here on the top. Dual barrel. And then the uh, full broadside each side. Lots and lots of DACA. Looks like some missiles there on the front as well. Nice bridge up here, very, very nice touch. Little sort of operators, quarters, pilot, and uh, possibly the uh, the gunner over here on the other side. Really nice little touch. Got smoke all around. Got the uh, the nice badge here. I survived the TT race. It's good for you, buddy. Way to do it. Way to go. <laughs> All right, and then also I like uh, how he has this uh, sort of like a torpedo belt all the way around the outside, just sort of a, a little bit of uh, you know, keep away for any like suicide craft or even missiles coming in or, or mines. Just gonna kind of keep that damage out away from the main hull. Take a peek underneath. Looks like it's riding up a little bit up off the ground on these. Oh, do these turn? I bet those. Yeah, those do look like they are on. Uh, yeah, most definitely. These are on turrets. So it looks like it has uh, four-way turning. That'll make it uh, very agile for its uh, ginormous size. And guns. Well, you've got guns here on the back facing backwards. There is no safe angle on this beast. Alright, this is the CTRS Gun Faba by Captain Cleeter. And uh, let's take a look at the Oblivion by Flossy Lions. Very nice. I just love the the look of this one. It just looks dangerous. The uh, the black and red is just sort of ominous. All these rams all around make it look like it's it'll cut you just looking at it. Some good detection out there. And what is in? It's like oh, okay. I see. I see what's going on here. A very clever design. We've got uh, the main turret in here. Oop, getting a little bit uh, too deep in the bowels of the beast. Got the uh, the main turret here. The barrel's encased in heavy armor. 
and then the barrel recessed down into almost like a little bunker here on the front of the craft. Gonna give it really good protection from damage and uh, that should keep that turtle alive deep into the fight. A whole mess of shields out in here. Oh, looks like there's, is there a glass in there as well? I, yeah, I can't even, I can't tell if that's just an artifact or possibly some glass blocks in there. Yeah, just a, a tangled mess of shield, but uh, I did double check all of these entries and there is, even though it may look like it, there are no uh, spin block exploits being used. Some big turrets here on the back. Massive amount of missiles. There's a whole lot of missile tubes. What's down there? What is in here? Oh, it's the uh, engine exhaust. I love the, uh, the red lighting. It's a very, very nice, ominous, evil looking design. Let's take a look at the uh, fire ants. Much, much smaller by comparison. Are these suicide? I don't see. I'm not seeing the weapons. It looks like possibly suicide craft or distraction craft. Oh wait, no. Here is what am I? What am I looking at? It looks. I can see ammo clips. I see ejectors, but I don't see barrels. So I'm wondering if these are designed to approach the enemy and then just spew shells at them, sort of shotgun style. That's interesting, we'll have to see how that works. I've, I heard somebody was working on a flamethrower, so I wonder if that is possibly sort of a uh, de facto flamethrower design there. And then, oh yeah, this, this here is, uh, here, let's, let's just unpause it just for a second to let this, oh, that, that's, that fingered it. And load in, come on, load in. Ah, oh, I don't want. I don't, there it is. All right, just in time. Look at this missile. <laughs> I don't know how much EMP damage that's gonna do, but it's got to be a lot. <laughs> I hope you've got some. Uh, oh, some. Oh, surge protectors in there. Uh, in that uh, Glen Faba, because uh, that is a mess of EMP right there. Alright, uh, I think that about covers both designs. Let's go ahead and get this battle underway. Yeah, this is running much smoother. I think it is the uh, the lasers that really lag me out. For whatever reason. It doesn't seem like they would be that laggy. I mean, it's a hit scan weapon. So it's not like there's projectiles or anything. Oh, oh, no! No! Oh. oh, that was so close. <laughs> I almost got taken out by uh, friendly fire by uh, enemy fire again. Oh, look at that fire ant! Oh, wow! Oh, they have nukes. That's playing dirty. Oh, yeah, and you can see. Oh, I'm just gonna pause it right here just for a second, just so we can enjoy this this carnage right here. Wow. Look at those nukes going off. And you can see the uh, pieces of the fire ants flying away, being exploded away. And then you can see all these shells being spewed out. That uh, they are, Each fire ant, you can see, look at the shells here, was filled to the brim with, uh, I, don't, I don't know what kind of shells, presumably explosive or fragmentation, and uh, just dumping right onto the Glen Papa. Glen Papa all the way down to 80%, but uh, at the same time, the Oblivion is down to 90%. The, uh, the craft itself is 100%, but uh, those fire ants sacrifice themselves, giving up uh, quite a bit of hit points. Alright, let's go ahead and unpause this. Let's let that smoke clear and uh, see what's left of the Glen Faba. Oh man, there's an impressive amount of DACA coming from the Oblivion. Uh, following up that uh, Alpha Strike. And here we go, the smoke is cleared. And uh, surprisingly, the uh, the Glenfaba is not out of this. Looks like it has lost its uh, front gun 
but the uh, rear gun is still somewhat functional and I believe the uh, the side guns are functional as well if it can bring them to bear. Go ahead and pop up fading quickly. It's all the way down to 63%. Oh, rocked by a huge internal explosion. Oblivion still 99%, and here comes another missile volley. These missiles take a very leisurely pace getting there. But uh, they certainly deliver when they get there. Oh yeah, Glenn Fabba all the way down. It's going to be... Yep. Two damaged. And there is the despawn. So condolences to Captain Cleeter. Your Glenn Fabba is defeated. But we'll see it again down in the secondary bracket. Congratulations to Flossy Lions. Your uh, Oblivion is uh, truly a force to be reckoned with. Those fire ants just massive amount of damage. And then the uh, Oblivion here itself is still 100% full health. Unleashed quite an onslaught against its enemy. Alright, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. I know I certainly did. Um, if you want to see some more tournament action here from the depths, click that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time.